Hey guys, so today we're checking out these Skyline LED headlights fitting all 2018 and newer JL Wranglers. So if you're not a fan of the factory halogen lights that your Jeep came with out of the factory and you're looking for an upgrade in not only styling but also lighting performance, this set is going to be a great choice to take a look into. Now this is going to be great for the JL owner who is a fan of the LED package that comes right out of the factory. These headlights are going to be a great replica for the uh, LED package for the LED headlights. Now these are going to have really the same styling and the same functionality. However, this is going to have a little bit more than the factory style LED package. Now this will obviously have that LED projector lens right in the middle. That's going to help you out with visibility at night if you seem to be lacking that. Um, this is also going to create a more uniform light pattern and a brighter, more modernized beam. Now you're also getting the running light. This is going to have a halo on the outside that's going to act as a daytime running light. Perfect if you want to add a little bit of styling to the front end of the Jeep um, and you want to be a little bit more noticeable on the road to other drivers. Now what I really like about this option and what switches it up and makes it a little bit different than the factory LED package is the fact that these halos are going to have a switchback feature that will connect to your turn signal. So once you actuate your right or left turn signal or even your hazards, this halo is going to illuminate amber and you're going to have that function there. Now again, that's just going to make you that much more noticeable to other drivers on the road and it's also going to do a great job at creating some very custom and unique styling. Now with that being said, these are going to come in at roughly $750 for the set. And I personally think with a quality set of headlights like this and the functionality that it brings to the table, that that's a great price point. Now some other options on the page are not usually going to have those choices when it comes to the headlight itself. They may not have a halo or they may not have the switchback feature and some of their choices may not even be for a projector light. However, they are going to be a little bit less expensive uh, than this option is. Now, I personally think, again, if you are a big fan of that LED package from the factory, but unfortunately you do not get that on your JL, and you're looking for an upgrade in the styling and lighting performance, that this is going to be right up your alley. So install is going to be pretty easy. I'm going to give it a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. This is going to be mostly plug and play. However, there is a little bit of wiring in order to get the halos installed and uh, booted up. So I am going to give that a one out of three, but it's nothing you can't do in your driveway with some very basic hand tools in about an hour. So speaking of the install, let's jump into that now. The tools that I used for my install were an electric ratchet, a trim removal tool, a pair of pliers, a 10 and an eight millimeter socket, and an impact wrench. So the first step to swapping out our headlights is to open up our hood and take off our grill. You will need a trim removal tool or a flat head screwdriver for this step. So there are going to be six clips up on the top of the grill. We're just going to pry off. So once the clips are out, we can lift up on each corner and remove that pin that's kind of aligning everything up at the top. We can give a good pull on our grill and completely remove it. Next, we can remove the three bolts that are holding in our headlight. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket in order to take those out. Now we will be reusing these, so put these in a safe spot for right now. And we can pull out our headlight, press down on this tab, disconnect the wiring harness, and grab our new one. So on the back of our new headlight, we're going to have a couple of different wires, and then we're also going to have a factory style connection. Now because we're using this on a Jeep that does not have um, the LED package right out of the factory, that's why we have a couple of extra wires here. Now this is going to just have that OEM factory plug, plug right into it. Then we have two leads here. Now you're going to have a wiring harness that's provided. Um, there is going to be a plug for each headlight. Then we're going to have a lead that comes out of the harness and it's also going to have an inline fuse and this is going to go into our running light. So we're going to plug in the one side that's connected a little bit closer to the shorter black wire. 
Now you can take this independent wire and run this into your fuse box. I personally don't like to do that. Um, I do like to directly wire it in and I'm going to wire this into the running light in our fender. Now the other wire, that's going to go into our turn signal and that's going to actuate our turn signal function or the switchback once the um, turn signal is actuated in the Jeep um, and it's going to come up in the halo as an amber color. Now this is just going to be an independent lead off of the back of the headlight and we're going to independently wire that into the turn signal in the fender as well. Um, so uh, for the daytime running light we only have one lead on each of the back of the headlight we have um, one each for that switch back. So what I'm going to do is plug this in. So once that's clipped in, what we can do is take these two wires together because they have to go to the same spot. And I'm going to run them inside the inner fender well. So we're going to peel back the inner fender liner in a second to wire these in. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to drop them down so we have access to them once we get to that step. So it doesn't have to be super clean right now. Now for the other side, we didn't do this headlight yet, um, but the, for the other side, I am going to just run this behind where the grill is going to sit. You want to make sure that this is not on anything moving or hot, um, but we could actually run it above and um, down behind over there. So what I'm actually going to do is pass this up through here, and we're going to move that over that way. And then we'll clean this up once everything is connected and we make sure that everything is working properly. But for the time being, we're just gonna try to clean these up as best as we can, get those wires down there. So we can take our factory wiring harness and plug that into the back of the light, making sure that you hear a click. We can line this up, make sure our alignment pins are in place. We can take our factory hardware and thread that in place. I'm going to tighten those up with that 10 millimeter socket. And then we can wire up our daytime running light and our turn signal. So what I'm going to do is peel off the front part of this liner. We have a couple of bolts. There's two 8 millimeter screws. There's one 10 millimeter bolt and then there are a couple of pins or push pins um, that are in here. So I'm going to start with those clips or the pins. I'm going to take a panel removal tool or a trim removal tool that we took to the top of the grill for those clips and just remove these. There's going to be one on this side, there's going to be one on this inner corner here. Then there's also going to be two up in front of these rivets. Next we can remove the two eight millimeter screws. I'm gonna use an eight millimeter socket. And then last but not least, we can remove that 10 millimeter bolt up at the top. Maybe a little bit difficult to see, but it's right up in the front there. So once that's out, we'll be able to take our inner fender liner and pull it back. And we'll be able to expose the wiring harness for our light in our fender. So once we peel the inner fender liner back, you're gonna notice that there is a small wiring harness going into the back of the fender. That's gonna be our light on the fender. Um, now the white wire with the brown trace, that's gonna be our running light. And the white wire with the green trace is going to be our turn signal. Um, so what we wanna do is take the clips that are provided in the kit, we can put them around each wire. These are just a small vampire clip. It makes it very easy to wire in. If you want to directly splice into these, you can. 
And I'm just gonna take a pair of pliers, make sure that that is clamped and clipped. So for that running light, we're gonna take that white wire with the inline fuse. I'm gonna put that back here. Take that down. Pair of pliers. Make sure that that's clipped and has a good connection. And we'll be able to test this out in just a second. And then we can do the same thing for the turn signal. Now on the other side, we're gonna do the same exact thing. However, we don't have to wire in the running lights. Uh, we just have to wire in the turn signal. So on the other side, same thing goes with this green wire, with a, or the white wire with a green trace. down, give it a little light tug, make sure that they're connected. And then before we go ahead and do anything else, clean up this wiring, we want to make sure that it works. So um, at this point, you want to make sure that your headlight is having the um, daytime running light come up, the white halo, and that it also actuates with the turn signal in an amber color. Then what we wanted to do is just clean up the wiring I just have a couple zip ties here, and there's also zip ties included in the kit. So once that's in place, what we can do is put our inner fender liner back together. Start with our clips, get everything lined up. We can grab our eight millimeter screws, put those into the front. Tighten those up with our eight millimeter socket. Grab our 10 millimeter bolt and tighten that up with a 10 millimeter socket. Then we can repeat that process on the other side. So before we install our second headlight, I did want to stop down and tell you guys a little bit more about this new setup, some of the similarities and differences compared to our factory setup. So overall, this is going to be a big upgrade in not only aesthetics, but also lighting performance. And it's gonna have a couple of functions that our factory one doesn't have, and even some functions that the factory LED package does not have. So just as a brief overview of our factory headlight here on the table, I have the halogen bulb or the halogen headlight out of the standard JL. Now there are options where you can get the LED package, however, we're gonna stick with the base model as far as this video goes. This is going to be just a standard setup. So we have a plastic housing, plastic lens, you're gonna have a standard chrome reflector in there and a standard halogen bulb. Now that is great for stock applications, however, it's not gonna give out the best lighting performance. Also, that halogen bulb is uh, also going to have a more amberish or yellow hue to it in comparison to an LED. Now, speaking of LED, this is going to be incredibly bright LED technology included inside. Um, this will actually be a projector LED, so not only is it going to be just as bright as an LED, but that projector lens is going to help it out as far as distance and uniform light patterns are concerned. Um, so this is going to be incredibly bright in comparison to the halogen bulb. And again, this is going to come with a couple of different features. Now it's going to come with that standard halo that's going to act as a daytime running light. And you're also going to get a switchback function for the turn signals. Um, so that halo will illuminate in an amber color whenever you actuate your left or your right turn signals or your hazards. So that's something that the factory one does not have, the factory LED package does not have. Um, however, this is really just going to simulate the factory uh, LED package. So if you're not a fan of the halogen um, from the factory and you are a fan of the look, the function, and the feel of the LED package uh, from the factory, this is going to be a great replica for that. Now again, as you guys saw, I do really like the fact that this is mostly plug and play. There is a little bit of wiring, but that is pretty standard when it comes to a halo and also a halo that has a switchback function. 
So overall, it is a pretty easy install. We're going to install the other side. So speaking of that, let's go ahead and do that. So at this point, once we have installed our headlights, wired everything in, make sure, making sure that everything is working and our beam pattern is on point, what we can do is reinstall our grill. Just give it a good tap. So once our grill's in place, we can just pop our clips back in. and we can close up our hood and we'll be all set to go. So that's gonna wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe and for more videos and products just like this, always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.